Hi, it's Emre from Laga. Wanted to welcome you to our classical program and also share some best practices for students of all levels to make sure you're off to a great start. Our program takes you step by step from basic levels, you know, sitting position, right hand strokes, notes on the fingerboard, all the way up to advanced levels. It'll get you started with single line folk tunes from around the world while sneaking in all the important technical essentials. So following the sequence on the lesson menu is going to ensure that you're not skipping any of the fundamentals. The lessons will also cover many exceptions to the conventional rules on technique. From early on, it'll get you to start thinking outside the box in terms of efficiency and practicality. That's a key quality for students with longer term goals, especially those interested in expanding their repertoire with the arrangements in our advanced premier portfolio. It's fine to occasionally jump ahead and indulge in a more advanced piece or two, but the main portion of your practice session should be designated for a slow, methodical scan of the curriculum. The program will take you through a whole range of repertoire in the order of difficulty. And with each piece, you'll be studying a particular concept or technique in context. If you are an intermediate to advanced level student or one of our graduates on your second run through of the curriculum, you will want to do a deeper performance scan, you know, paying attention to subtle details, musicality, perfecting all the technical aspects, even on lower level pieces. As you go through each level, you can choose a set of pieces of your favorites from each unit and practice them to maybe not to perfection, but to a point where you can effortlessly perform them. There's a considerable amount of repertoire on the curriculum and our sheet music portfolio, but keep in mind that it's not necessary to maintain all the pieces you've studied in the past at a performance level. Older pieces will naturally get rustier, but as you progress through the units and levels, you're also practicing the process of learning a piece, not just the pieces themselves so you'll be able to bring older pieces up to performance level very quickly. You can also make this part of your daily routine. You know, after your main practice session, working on your current pieces, just take five or 10 minutes to review an older piece to keep it fresh. That brings me to the importance of practice and repetition. There's a suggested practice routine on the student homepage, along with a mind map that shows different aspects of performing music and how it all comes together. But before any of that, please make sure you have the main ingredient in place, which is practicing consistently. Whether you have only 15 minutes a day, hopefully a lot more than that, set aside some time every day you can relax and focus on your practice so you can build up the repetitions and develop the muscle memory. Speaking of repetitions, what's gonna make your progress continuous and consistent is not necessarily the number of repetitions, it's the efficiency of your practice sessions. The lesson notes and the spot practice videos will point to key aspects for that particular piece or drill and how to approach it. So they'll get you in the habit of thinking more efficiently. So you can put time and effort into what actually matters and get a lot more done in a shorter practice session. But don't take the actual videos for granted either there's always gonna be a full video demonstration of the material that's being covered. You know, every day there's a tremendous amount of unconscious background processing of visual information in our brains. So we all rely on visual cues in basically everything we do. But how do you use that as an effective learning tool? The key is to be able to sort through all the information and prioritize the next meaningful step to focus on for your practice. For visual learners with a more developed kinesthetic sense, it's a smoother ride. You know, over the years, it's become more and more clear that our students who make the most progress are those who are able to utilize visual, kinesthetic, and auditory cues in their practice. But if you're not among that group, how do you get to that level and be able to incorporate all these varied forms of learning? Well, you have one of the best methods to develop that right inside your student account. Your subscription comes with the flamenco curriculum as well. And incorporating flamenco into your studies will be a fast track to boosting your visual learning and memorization skills because you'll be encouraged to utilize rote learning, you know, visually studying the demonstration from the videos and directly internalizing the material essentially bypassing the sheet music. And that frees you from the restrictive note-by-note -note 
thinking a lot of classical guitar students tend to have. If you've had trouble memorizing and internalizing pieces as a classical player, and have had no experience with any oral musical traditions like folk music, you'll find that working on this process in the Flamenco curriculum will easily bridge that gap for you. On the technical side, it's going to activate muscle groups you have not used much before, and that's going to give you a more balanced, stable, and powerful technique. You'll be getting comments on how you're able to produce so much volume with minimal movement while maintaining a balanced and relaxed technique. Keep in mind though, even with a consistent and efficient practice routine, it's not the whole picture. Another important piece of the puzzle is a reliable feedback mechanism. That's where our video feedback feature comes in. Recording your performance of a piece or drill and submitting it and working on the feedback you receive, you can ensure that you're on the right track and making consistent progress. The recording process itself actually becomes a great learning tool. You can use it for goal setting, troubleshooting technical obstacles, rhythm issues, working on continuity, and just to see your performance from an audience perspective. Like some of our students, you may end up not submitting your video, so it's optional, but Going through the process of recording your playing is really valuable. And now with the latest updates, you have an opportunity to schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions and join our group meetings to have your overall technique assessed, talk about any obstacles or any advanced questions that may be too complex for email support. And for students with more ambitious goals or require personalized training, we do have the private lesson option as well. Thanks for your attention. Have a great practice.